Good morning. Welcome back. It's Friday Coffee Talks, your favorite Friday morning hot beverage themed podcast. I'm your host, Connor Volpe, and we're here talking on Friday over coffee. I have a cup today. Mm. Oh, that's really bad. I ran out of coffee last week and I just went to the grocery store and I was like, I'm going to buy some coffee. I'm going to get something new. And I picked wrong. Oh, it's horrible. So I'm choking down cup after cup to try to get through it. I don't want to waste coffee. So Ugh, gross. Um, let me preface today's episode by saying that we are not talking politics, especially global politics. Um, you'll see why in just a second, but I don't care about your opinion. You don't care about mine. I am not going to get into debates about politics. Um, if you put horrible things on my comments, I will delete them. So just be warned. Uh, this is not a place to talk about politics. I don't really care. Uh, this is a place that I want to be inspired. And that is what today's topic is about. I saw a video uh, this week by a man named Yoel, Yoel and his wife, Mary. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I was incredibly inspired and I've been thinking about this video quite a bit. I've seen it a lot. It's gone viral. Um, I think they initially posted it on TikTok, but I saw it on Instagram. They have a, a big YouTube following. Um, so here it is. This is the video. Let me play it for you now. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Grab me. Grab me. Grab me. Grab me. Oh, my God. Me americano. ¿Cuánto gané yo aquí? Sí. Mua. Look at the taxes. Pero prefiero esto que no Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro me quitaba más. El comunismo me quitaba más. Tú sabes qué? Este es mi primer cheque por hora. Que tú sientes que cada hora de trabajo vale. Que, te, que cada hora de trabajo tiene una importancia en tu vida. Y, y que se lucha, que sabes que puedes luchar por algo. Es un sentimiento que no, sé, no es comparable con nada. Porque nunca lo tuve en mi país. En Cuba no lo hay. Y aquí lo tengo a prueba. Aquí lo tengo. Wow. What a video. Um, gosh, I'm going to link to their Instagram and to their YouTube uh, down below. So check the comments if you want to get to them. I'm not trying to take any credit. It's definitely not my video, but what an inspiring video. Oh my gosh. Um, so these folks are Cuban immigrants. They've come to America and this video was uh, Yo Yoel. I'm, I'm probably butchering his name, but it, with his first American paycheck. Um, I watched this and you know, there's a lot of sappy videos on the Instagram reels as you're scrolling through that you tend to find. And, um, but this one, for some reason, it, it really stuck out to me and it, it's made a big impact on me. It affected me this week. Um, it keeps coming back and popping in the back of my mind, but just the excitement and the elation and the pride that you could see, see on his face and hear in his voice as he talked about his first American paycheck, uh, just powerful, powerful words. For those of you who may be listening on Spotify or anything like that, um, and didn't, couldn't speak Spanish. Um, he said in that video, this is my first hourly paycheck that I feel every hour counted. Wow. Like, oh my gosh, that's huge. That every hour has an importance in my life and I know I can work hard for something. That is just such a big concept. And to reach that point in your life at, you know, an age where you're an adult and supporting your family after making such a huge decision to immigrate from Cuba um, to defect from Cuba, excuse me, and, and to come to the United States. Um, that's, you know, they say the American dream, that's a bit cliche at this point, but I mean, to come and, and be free and to er, work for a living and earn a paycheck, um, it's, it's a ma massive thing. And it's something that I maybe have taken for granted in my life. Uh, I'm somewhat ashamed to say with the climate that we're in, in, you know, the world in the United States, especially and in technology, it's been a rough week. There's been some huge layoffs at some really big companies. Um, I've been through one of those myself and I know what it feels like to be on the receiving end of that call. Um, it's not fun. There's nothing about it that, uh, that is comforting. Um, it's scary. It's, um, it's, uh, it's terrifying. You don't know where your next step's going to be. And there's a lot of people on LinkedIn in the world right now that are in that position. And I empathize with you. I know where you're at. And uh, side note, I'd love to help. If there's anything I can do to connect you with people, I'm happy to do so. But for myself, as I watch this video with Yoel talking about his, his paycheck, it's, 
it kind of made me step back and look at my my life and my career. And it's easy to take that paycheck for granted. Um, it is, it is. Uh, I mean, I've been working a job since I was probably 16. I got my first job when I was in high school with my best friend Oliver. And we were working at Subway. We were sandwich artists and we were some damn good sandwich artists. I do have to say, I can make a mean cold cut combo. Um, but you know, that paycheck started coming. And and since then I've been doing some type of work, you know, all through college, I worked, um, to (laughs) have bar tab money. And, you know, after I got out of college, I've been working since then. I've been in the corporate world now for, um, over 10 years, um, working jobs. And while I haven't stopped working hard, um, I, I think that is one of my strong suits is, is putting my nose to the grindstone and doing what I need to do to make work happen. Um, it's easy to take that paycheck for granted that it's, it's just going to show up in that bank account or that check is going to arrive in the mail every week or every couple weeks, uh, because you've been doing it for so long. And so when something like a layoff happens or, um, when you see people who are, are struggling to, to find that next job or find where that next paycheck is going to come from, it really is a sobering moment, um, to, for me to, to kind of look at that and step back and say, um, I mean, what, what, uh, what power there is in hard work. And it's, it was very inspiring for me to, to see Yoel's journey, to see this video of him. And I've, you know, since I've gone back through their Instagram and their YouTube and watched a lot of their stuff and, and gosh, what, what amazing people. Um, so if by chance you're watching this, or if you go watch their stuff, um, amazing people, Yoel and Mary, um, they're, they're going through and they're, they're doing what they need to do to support themselves, support their family, and to make their American dream happen. And that's just so cool. Um, it's something that I don't take lightly is hard work and the opportunity to show up every day and to do the things that I need to do to, um, to support my family, to support my store magic family, to do what I can to make our business successful and, and help the people that are, that are around me in my company. Uh, because, you know, that's something that, uh, that I do really value about being here is, is knowing that the work that I'm doing is not only contributing to me and my success, uh, but by going out and doing my job, I can help the people around me be successful. And that's, that's a responsibility that I take very seriously. Um, I know that the work I'm doing has an impact for all of the families that depend on store magic for a paycheck. And that's, that's huge. Um, that, makes it, it makes it to where when the the sneaking thoughts that creep in your mind about like oh maybe I don't need to to do that put in that much effort or uh, maybe I could slack off here or there um, you know everybody gets those temptations uh, but it makes it really easy to just push those out of your mind and say no I've got to go and make this happen I've got to go and do every day's work as hard as I possibly can to make sure that um, that I'm taking care of the people around me um, and, and doing a good job for my customers is, is also something that I take very seriously. And so it's a great reminder to see this video, um, to see somebody who hasn't had the opportunity to feel like every hour has an importance in their life, um, to see them be so passionate about taking that opportunity and seizing it and, um, and being able to do that. It makes me want to do that even more. So, so thank you, Yoel and Mary for posting this. Your video has been amazing. I know it's changed your lives already. You've been viral sensations and they've already posted reaction videos of people recognizing them and giving them hugs in the streets. I wish I could run into you and give you a hug myself because you've been inspiring for me. And I hope that maybe me sharing it with you, uh, can be inspiring for you too. So no matter what you're doing, um, if you have the opportunity to go to a job, to perform work, do it to the best of your ability. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there. It's the millennial type of thing to feel like you're underpaid or undervalued or that your work doesn't matter, all that kind of stuff. Um, I understand where those feelings come from, but the way to get out of that, the way to move towards something that you do feel like you're more valued or, or higher paid or whatever is to do the absolute best that you possibly can at the job you have now. Um, and, and that's something I believe in. Nobody's going to just hand you a new job. Nobody's going to go and just, uh, say, Hey, would you like a raise? Can I give you more money? 
you have to go and earn it. You have to make them see that you deserve that. And that's something that I believe in. So whether you are the CEO or you're working in food service or you're doing janitorial work, whatever the case may be, wherever you are on that employment scale, do the absolute best at your job. Be the best version of the job that you've been hired to do until you get opportunities to do more things. And then when you advance your career, do the best at that and just keep being the best, working as hard as you possibly can. And the opportunities will come because (laughs) that's how it works. Um, People recognize hard work. They recognize dedication and loyalty and the, the notion that you're putting your best foot forward and that you're doing the absolute best job that you can. So make every hour count, go work hard. There's, there's no shame in an honest day's work, um, no matter what you're doing. So go put in that day. I know I will. Um, thanks for joining me. Enjoy some coffee. Hope yours is better than mine. Uh, this has been Friday coffee talks episode 90. It's amazing. I've got, uh, some really cool stuff coming. So definitely check back next week. I'm going to have a great episode for you next week. And then over the next few weeks, we got some really, really exciting stuff for you. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for being fans of Friday Coffee Talks. Um, follow me on Instagram, Friday at Friday Coffee Talks. Go like and subscribe to the YouTube page. Um, yeah, am I becoming a, a YouTuber? Is this happening? I don't even know. Thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend and have a great Thanksgiving. I'll see you next week.